my people this one is good news good news indeed they said a lot of testimonies have been coming people have been testifying what god of Naomi have done for them after the prayer section she held uh, in the palace from what we heard they said she and her prayer teams they did uh, this uh, prayer section uh, it was a vigil, it was night vigil throughout the night in the palace of Ilefe Kingdom. And they said it was held in that Yeyolua uh, quarters. There have been testimonies, even from that uh, quarters, they said there have been so many revelations. There have been so many revelations coming from that quarters after the prayers. And they say a lot of people attended that question, both old and young, women and uh, men. They said a lot of people attended, especially those of them who really loves Queen Naomi and who really want her to come back. They said they joined in that prayer and so many of them have been testifying. Although some people might just come out just to see if uh, they will attack her because you know that in such a place <laughs> Some people will come to attack just like uh, wherever they are holding crusade You know that most people they are not coming there for the crusade They are coming there to attack the people that came for the crusade and most times they ended up being rescued You know by maybe uh, Holy Spirit will arrest them and sometimes you see them confessing some of them after everything they will just receive their deliverance and all of that so most times eh, when you are going to crusade if you don't know what you are going there to do you better it's better that you sit at home because so most people uh, if you are not prayerful enough the possibility that some demons that came out of people will enter you well you know why some people that some demons that came they will uh, end up being delivered and all of that so they said Queen Naomi's visit to the palace, as in that prayer section that she held in Yeyolua quarters in the palace, that a lot of things were revealed. A lot of people testified. People with uh, sickness, they were getting themselves. There was total healing. There was restoration. There was a whole lot of things. You know that our God is a, a wonderful and a merciful God. They said he really used Queen Naomi to uh, save a lot of lives in that palace in that prayer seriously and this is this is the reason why a lot of people really want her to come back they say some of these people that join that if you see the happiness in them that at least there is hope that phenomenon is returning right now they say there have been preparations every now and then kbs is doing his own phenomenon too is preparing now everybody is preparing in his or her own way yes kbs is busy uh, planning on how to carry out the ritual although i heard another news concerning that ritual they said a certain old woman told queen Naomi's mother that she should not allow the ritual to take place right now that they should wait even if they will have to do the ritual they should wait until queen Naomi finally returns back to the palace because if they did the ritual now and eventually queen Naomi did not return again that it is going to be a, a bigger tie down on Quenomi's side and all of that. I don't know. So right now they said, in as much as KBAC and his people are making very big preparation for Quenomi's return by June, they said Quenomi, on the other hand, has been doing her own preparations, praying, doing deliverances, and all of that. And they said after that uh, prayer, all night prayer session in that Yeyolua quarter, it was revealed that these people buried the whole lot. They did a whole lot of burying pot stuffs and everything in that uh, Yeyolua quarters. It was also through this dream, uh, through these uh, prayers that it was also revealed that most of them, they have the, uh, that, uh, is it already uh, blue-blooded, that she have the master key to all the rooms in that Yeyolua quarter. <laughs> I don't know if that is the reason why the CKBC have been deciding that she is going to build another Yeyolua quarters close to his own chamber. That is what we heard. I don't know how true it is. But all I do know is that the battle is on. Yes, so between Queen Naomi and uh, these women and some elders who really don't want her to come. And they have been coming physically and spiritually. As in it is God's goes, woto woto, serious one. From all corners, from the women, from the elders. The other day we heard that some elders went to Akure to attack Queen Naomi. And because Queen Naomi is ever ready with God, she defeated all of them. And they were disgracefully carried back to <laughs> Ilefe Kingdom. They said those elders, they, they, 
Ah, it's not good to be doing all this jazz, oh, to be flying at night. It's not good at all. Because when you meet the people that, will, that, that are with the power of God, they will disgrace you. They will render your power useless. They will make, you end up making mockery of yourself because of where you belong, because you are flying at night. <laughs> you are turning to pussycat and, uh, <laughs> and uh, oh. <laughs> Guys, it's not good to indulge in evil, oh, seriously. Not at all. Not at all. They said there were so many liberations. A lot of people were testifying. And they said Konami was happy. At least that will encourage her to do more. Because you know that anytime there is a, this crusade or prayer section and there is testimonies, it encourages both the host and the, the people that attended. So next time you will see that if we normally decide to hold another prayer, that the number will be greater than what it was before because of those testimonies. They said it was not a small thing, that the testimony was flowing in here and there. And I said, now, wow, this is indeed a good news. Yes, so this is the kind of news that we want to be hearing. And not that uh, cats, 60 cats, if not more than surrounded Quinomi's chambers, and we are doing their uh, meetings and all of that. <laughs> Anyway, the only thing they should understand is that Penomi is with the greater power. So no matter how they try, uh, God will always expose them and put them to shame. Anyway, guys, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? And please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead, subscribe, give my video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell. If you are a returning subscriber, I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. My God will bless you and support you. Tell me what you think about the video on the comment section. And don't forget that they are all alleged information. I love you guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now. Love you guys.